Thank you so much for watching my intro video to Spa Day Bound. This channel is dedicated to travel and the spa luxury world, including the hidden locations where most people don't even know to go to, like Cleopatra's Turkish Bath in Egypt, all the way to the Forbes Five Star Establishment. So this video is going to highlight how I'm going to build this channel, the short version. It is our goal to provide professional entertainment centered on the spa and the wellness industry through professional experience and cultural exploration while uncovering the hidden world of body therapy. Spa Day Bound's mission is to explore and share distinctive spa experiences for the world's travelers in the cravers of the unique by sharing first-hand experience through entertainment mediums. It is our vision to provide professional entertainment centered on the spas and the wellness industry through professional experience and cultural exploration while uncovering the hidden world of body therapy. Spa Day Bound has a classic S in the circle with the name and script below the tagline, Let's Go on an Adventure. The script is black with a light tan background. This allows the company to be natural in its direction. It is not loud, leaning towards a high energy expectation. It is calm, but direct. The target audience is women between the age of 28 and 60 with a net income of at least $80,000 per year. I expect these women to either travel solo or in groups and they will want to take at least one international or national destination trip per year. Spa Day Bound is going to specialize in producing three different types of story. The 30 minute overview of a town, its spa, and why you'd want to go there. Then the five minute short overview, which might have more still shots and more voiceovers but we'll also produce the 60 minute or less, I'm so sorry, I meant 60 seconds or less, um, video which might be more heavily dependent on voiceovers and on still shots. And it will just be very quick, kind of like how you saw in the beginning of our uh, production today. Other avenues of production will be the pr professional line, where people can become a member or pay to actually watch educational programs on how to operate within certain environments. We'll also do a DIY. You could be a member and learn how to do self treatments at home using massage and acupuncture and or uh, skincare. But another element of income is going to come from different streaming options, such as I already have a tea line called the local tea room and that is up on Amazon and I've been running Shopify for about a year. I've also been working with creating my own product line. I got lipsticks, well, chapstick. We're looking at some bath stuff and the other thing is, is getting the channel monetized through Instagram and or uh, YouTube will also help bring in some money. One of the hardest parts about building a channel is getting connected to people. First of all, you have to make content. So that's step number one. Step number two, you have to be on a routine schedule. That's very important. Step number three, it's more important that someone watches your entire program versus 25% or 50%. The more people are going to be tuned into what you're saying, the better your rankings are going to be. But how do you get your stuff out there? First, if you're paying for subscribers, you can get kicked off of YouTube. That's definitely frowned upon. You can, however, pay Google, because you know they're related, and you can put your website out there, and your website could have your links to your videos. So I have a .com, a spa day .com, and on there you'll see that I have different uh, videos that I like to play for people. And I could pay for advertisement for my website to advertise something along the lines of going to Scotland. 
And if you want information on Scotland or the top 20 things to do in Scotland, hit this link. Oh, now I paid for the advertisement, not for my videos on YouTube, but for my blog. And my blog can connect people. And then I hope to rope them into continuing to watch some of the other adventures that I have gone on to. So it's definitely going to be a paid for advertisement that I'm going to want to tap into. Also asking people directly, like I'm going to ask right now, please like and subscribe this channel because that's the only way I'm going to ever be able to move forward with this plan is by having people who are willing just to simply like and subscribe to watching these little videos that I like to make. So um, it's going, going to be challenging because I can't just have a business card. I can create a business card with a code on it and try to send that around town, but I'm not in my target audience for my town, but some towns that, you know, that would absolutely help be helpful. So I am going to have to definitely uh, dip down and work very hard to create good content that people are going to want to watch when they just see the thumbnail. My calculation estimates it will cost roughly about $8,335 in order to produce at least one video. My plan at this point is to self-fund this project. And hopefully I get to a point where I can actually approach a location and ask to sign a contract with them in exchange for them paying for me to record at their location. That would be a great goal to have and something I wish to achieve one day. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep, you know, dishing it out of pocket and having fun. But there are a couple challenges that I must leave you with. One, it is very hard to get a channel monetized. Two, from what I'm seeing through research, once you get monetized, you might be making an average of $4,000, which may be way less than what it actually costs in order to produce some of these videos that people are doing. It definitely seems to be an advantage if you do short, funny films. Um, I saw the guy who does the dogs and he very clearly has a sponsorship from a Maytag washer. So he did um, some videos about him washing dog stuff. He's very creative in his process. So there are some challenges that, that we're going to have to face. And, you know, it's a really high upfront cost at one person gets angry with you and it can destroy your career. I have a you know family member that uh, was put into that situation and um, even though he didn't do anything wrong, cancel culture got to him. Um, you have to work diligently hard to build consistency and always be involved and ultimately it's a low low profit margin for the most part. So those are a little bit of snippets to building your own spa day bound channel.